Hi, my name is Frank Howell. I'm the chief engineer and inventor at Down East Incorporated in Bridgeton, Maine. We do uh, research and development work primarily for the armed services. Uh, to that end, we've developed the pack frame systems that are in widespread use by the U.S. military and allied military, such as these pack frames right here, these systems. What I'd like to talk to you today about is our new 3D SR buckle. We did the original engineering work on the U.S. Army's 1584 buckle. Um, I've always wanted to do a buckle that would be the next generation. I did that work in the late 1990s. And this is the product of six years work trying to create a buckle that would introduce a new level of utility and safety for our warfighters. The issue with many buckles such as the standard one inch side release buckle is they're made out of Delrin or acetyl so if they get hit by a, a round or a blast front from an explosive device they shatter like a china plate. Work we did on a, a new polymer and design for our pack frame programs for the US military we developed a polymer that is highly fragmentation resistant yet is able to meet the performance and environmental needs of uh, combat and battlefields. Anyway, the problem with buckles such as this, the side release buckle is, well it's a great buckle for doing many things in a situation where it has to be released in haste uh, and say without in the dark wearing gloves in a dangerous situation it's very difficult to find it and release it particularly if your hands are cold but also and more importantly if it's under heavy load these little hooks right here grab onto these little shoulders this is why these buckles are notorious for pinching your hands however when it's under heavy load in order to operate the buckle, the buckle actually has to suck back together, overcoming the heavy load, so that those little shoulders can pass over these lands. Makes it impossible in that dangerous situation to release it. This buckle, the three-dimensional side release buckle, actually works on a fundamentally different locking principle. Instead of the load, the release being along the line of load, the release action, the separation of the locking surfaces, is actually perpendicular to that line of load. So when you operate the buckle and you squeeze it like a side release buckle, these camming surfaces pry the locking surfaces to disengage. Like that. Now you'll also notice that the buckle is very open here. So that if this is full of uh, sand or snow and ice or mud or slime. When you lock it together, everything pushes clean. The release action is designed so that in haste, again, you don't need to know what up or down is or what direction to pull a lanyard, which is a standard release in combat buckles. Hook your thumb underneath, wrap your palm around it, and squeeze it, and it pops open. It will do that under heavy load in a dangerous situation. An operator doesn't, it's not safe to have an operator having to pay attention down here trying to unlock a buckle when it's, when it's dangerous. Situational awareness is very important. With this buckle, absolutely able to stay in touch with what's going on around. 3DSR. To expand on what I was talking about earlier about fragmentation and the special polymer that we developed, I wanted to show you, if you can zoom in here, these are five, five, that's a 5.56 five, round actually shot through one of the arms of the buckle. As you can see, it didn't fragment. In fact, this buckle still operates. This is a very important safety concern because of the danger of fragmenting plastic to, uh, to an operator uh, in a dangerous situation. So I wanted you to see that. The other thing too is, this is a 3D printing of our, our next 3D SR buckle. The locking system is exactly the same as the one inch one, but this buckle is designed to work on body armor 
and also as a battle belt buckle. As you can see from the sides, it actually has a droop that helps it stand off. So if it's on the waist, in a battle belt configuration, it would be possible to unlock it this way. Also, if it's up as a part of body armor here, it's very easy for the operator to unlock it here or unlock it here if you need to do that. So, this is, a, uh, this is one of our pack systems using the Molly medium frame system that we developed for the U.S. Army. In a situation where this needs to be used, the belt can lock together, the buckle can lock together. It's possible for the operator to reach down, pop this buckle, pop this buckle, then hook the thumb and pop that buckle, and release and drop. Another important fact, factor in our design is this shape allows the operator to control the load. So in a situation where the load needs to be set down, um, needs to be set down quietly, it's also easy to put together. I'll get to that in a moment. Where the operator needs to set the load down quietly, once I punch out, I maintain control of the load on the pack. This shape allows me to then steer the load down so the pack doesn't come crashing down while maintaining awareness. Down East Innovation is looking forward to working with Hudson Supply as our exclusive international distributor for FastMag, which is one of our products, as well as the new 3DR, 3DSR buckle. Thank you. If you like this video and want to support us, please check out the Millspec Monkey Store. Although known for morale patches, we also specialize in a good selection of DIY hardware and tactical accessories.